A talking goose. You may be asking why I was talking to a virtual whatever that is. Stop asking questions. This is the news. I'll be asking the questions here. Hi, I'm your totally unbiased and definitely friendly reporter Goose, answering your real life questions, which are 100% real and not fake. Today's question comes from a totally real person who says, who are these furries and why do they keep stealing our jobs? Great question, definitely real and not made up person. Urban Dictionary will give you a whole lot of words describing what furries are, but it seemed like too much effort to read. So instead, I just Googled pictures of furries. However, this endeavor only left me with more questions than answers. Are they simply using a creative way to keep warm? Are they robots coming to wipe out the human race? Or are they just using a mask to hide their existential dread as the world turns and time marches on, pulling us closer and closer to our eventual demise? In my quest to find answers, I took to the streets petitioning anyone I could find, but was met with only looks of confusion and disgust, coupled with the occasional beating. Not to be discouraged, I realized I had to travel to the heart of this enigma to get my answers. And so, I traveled to a local furry hotspot to see if I could find out more. What the fuck are you? No, 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 you're not. You've got paws, man. You got paws. You got a nose. You're like a, you're a dog that wants to be a cow. Do you go on the internet and watch cow porn? I bet you do. What do you do? You go out into the fields and watch them as they eat. That's what a cow fucker would say. You're digging the hole deeper, man. You got that shovel, and you just keep, just keep going. The shovel's broken. The shovel's long broken, but you keep digging. You're digging with your hands. You're scraping it out. You're scraping all that cow ass, and you're, you're bringing it up, and you're going. While this furry claimed ignorance, his facade was slipping faster than a child's ice cream on a hot summer's day. I had little time to question this, however, as the furries were becoming suspect of my loyalties. Haven't heard you honk yet, though. Oh, everyone wants to hear the honk, the don't honk? they? Oh, everyone just comes along. You come into this place. <laughs> you know, you come into my personal space and you go, Oh, oh, I want to hear you honk. Always asking for shit, aren't you? Everyone just wants to hear the honk. They don't want to. They want to. Don't want to hear what I feel. Who I am. They don't want to. They don't want to hear the real me. They just want the honk. You're so. <laughs> Look, little Moomoo man. Maybe you haven't fucked a cow yet. But it's only a matter of time, isn't it? I knew there was nothing more I could get out of him, and with fears of what that warped mind might come up with if provoked further at the first distraction, I made my escape. Okay, you're into some weird shit, dude. I, I've got, I've got some questions for you, for you guys. I got, got a little questionnaire for people to answer. They're all totally 100% serious questions. Um, they, they're great. You'll love them. If you don't, fuck you. Garlic bread. What's up with that? Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I sleep on a garlic bread bed. I eat garlic bread for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It oh, is my oh. main course. It is my entire life. So, um, I, I've heard that the fur community is very family orientated, much like the church. So anyway, how many children have you made cry? A lot. Where do you keep your cookies? I have, I have very strict opinions on biscuit segregation. I don't believe in biscuit integration. Because if you let biscuits integrate into the same tin, things get dirty. One hour later. You have to separate the Nice biscuits from the custard creams. Six hours later. It's really, really crazy that only 13% of biscuits are bourbons, but they make up 50% of ruining the biscuit tin. Six months later. <laughs> You're a good goose. <laughs> As I finally escaped the ravings of the deranged cookie man, I was accosted by another wild character. <laughs> a talking goose. This quickly escalated. I'm not saying anything bad. Never skip on Daisy. <laughs> it's what happens when you sniff too much protein powder off of a squirrel's ass crack or something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had my back to the wall and a crackhead furry in front. My only option to regale him with random facts. Humans, 0.2 milligrams of gold in their blood. Did you know that? So, um, I did the math. 
And uh, if you grind up 875,000 people, you get a million dollars worth of gold. Excuse me, I have a lot of planning to do. Oh! Um, hey, hey, I didn't do anything. You can't fucking get me for anything. You've got nothing on me, man. Punch him in the dick! So why, why, um, wh well, why? Uh, I'm greatly confused. Anyone's kneecaps want to be cut out? Because, like, I can do that. Greg, <laughs> no, thank you, little shit, and I'll cut out your throat. Don't even, don't even test me. I'll do it. <laughs> um, okay. Um, just, just calm down. Good. It's gonna be alright. Tell me to calm down again, and I'll, and I'll slide off toes, bitch. You won't even be able to stand because you're so unbalanced. This violent tirade continued on for what seemed like hours until finally I was able to escape from the angry little devil monster. But somehow I was no closer to my objective. Why do people hate me? <laughs> I mean, you're a goose. You're, you're Fuck, you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. I mean, there's a reason why people hate that. To you. <laughs> I am a cat. Indeed, it was a cat. Hello, Mr. Cat. I've, I've got a question for you, okay? This this is important. This is very serious. If you cut yourself in half and eat the other half, do you weigh the same? Uh, no, I think I'd die, dog. Are you a furry? <laughs> is, is that is that furry? Uh, is that yeah. <laughs> No, no. In my blunder, I had foolishly made a bold assumption and now realized that while furries and cacti obviously share much in common, they're apparently not considered to be one and the same within the furry community. Look, we've got a real furry boy. Wow, look at this guy. He's like knockoff Tony the Tiger. I finally found who I was looking for. So now at last, the most important question of all would be answered. Hey, um, if, if I- if I stroke your leg, will you tell me the secret things? <laughs> Depending in the- which you like? Whichever you like. <laughs> Let's click the, uh, handle here. Oh, man! So this is where the sex happens. I don't know much about rhinos, but I- I- No, I don't know actually anything about rhinos. Wait, so how are you a doctor? What you oh god, what's your face wrong with? I mean, hello. <laughs> oh my god, you've been invo involved in a terrible accident. H have you been missold, PPI? You have? Well, you're in luck. Because you, you can't claim back for PPI anymore. The, the date's passed for that, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. Duck. Can I- can I hunt furries? Is it legal? And here we see a wolf, in its natural habitat. A bar. We all know wolves are heavy drinkers. But did you know that wolves are also sexual predators? Stay away from them. Stay- stay- stay away. Hey. Hey. You make me very unbound. Well, uh, maybe, maybe you're just not ready yet. Now, I might not be ready, but are you ready to hear the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Go, go for it, yes. <laughs> sure, I, I've never got this far. I didn't read the rest of the script. Um, um, I something about God being inside of me. Something about the whole Trinity going inside of me, or saying it would always be there. If you feel something inside of, inside of you at all times, you probably need to see a doctor. It's cancer. <laughs> it's cancer. Today I learned much about furries, from their compulsive denial and unusual fixation with biscuits, to their hard line between cacti and furries. I may have learned nothing about their origin, motives, or true identities, like was asked in the question that started this whole video. But hey, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey we make along the way. The friends we make along the journey. I, I'm sure there's some friends and journeys in there somewhere.